Hi, Leslie Larson here with a little truth in reporting and let's spread some information instead of misinformation. The truth about magnesium stearate. What is magnesium stearate? Instead of actually telling you whether magnesium stearate blocks absorption of your supplements or not, I think I'm going to educate you on what it is, how it is used in the dietary supplement world, and then let you decide for yourself do you think that it's inhibiting absorption of your nutrients? Magnesium stearate, guess what? It's a fat. Hmm, fats are essential to your health, I believe. And so I think that your body can absorb fats. Here's another thing, fat, oil, and water do not mix. So if you see a video with someone opening a capsule with magnesium stearate and putting it into water and claiming that because it sits on top of the water, it's not absorbing in your body. Well, oil and water don't mix unless they're emulsified. So it's really a poor example of absorption by the body. Good news is your stomach is not a cup of water. So when you look to your stomach and its ability to digest and absorb nutrients, your body was designed to absorb fats because they're essential. They're necessary for your life. They're necessary for health. And so, Fats are absorbed by the body. If you're not absorbing your fats, you've got a problem and you need to get with a professional to help you or to dig into improving your digestion because you need fats for life. So, steric, magnesium stearate is a fat. Oil and water do not mix. So putting an oil into a water without emulsifying it, it's always gonna give you a big kind of puddle of supplements. Your stomach isn't made of a cup of water. So, does that mean that there's not a difference in the bioavailability or the absorption of nutrients. No, there's definitely a difference in bioavailability, but that difference is not based on whether or not magnesium stearate is in your dietary supplement. The bioavailability of nutrients is based on the sourcing of the ingredients of that product, the bioavailability of the form of that ingredient, and the potency that's in that product. I can tell you after working for a company that believed very strongly that magnesium stearate and stearic acid, which are excipients, I know that sounds like a crazy scary word, but they're excipients. Excipients in dietary supplement manufacturing allow the manufacturers to provide you with a product that is within a budgetary range. If they were to take out the magnesium stearate and the stearic acid, which are excipients or flowing agents, then the machinery would have to run at a third of the speed and they would lose upwards of 10% of the raw material. So they utilize magnesium stearate and stearic acid because they'd have to charge you three to four times more money on all of those dietary supplements. And there are countless bioavailability and absorption studies of supplements that have magnesium stearate and stearic acid, and they are absorbed by the body. There are benefits. I'm gonna give you a quick example. I just gave a friend this past week with MS that utilizes a wheelchair because of the MS that is frequently at night getting up four or five times a night to go to the bathroom. Someone that has trouble walking and that utilizes a wheelchair, having to go to the bathroom four times a night is a big deal. And he just thought, that's just a symptom of MS. I'm just something I'm gonna have to deal with. And he was, he was sharing that with me. And I said, I don't know, just try this product. It's Archangelica, maybe it'll help. I'm not, I'm not as familiar about MS, I don't know. It's not gonna hurt, try it. He came back the next day and he was like, that was awesome. I did not get up but one time last night. And that Archangelica from Iceland is actually in a capsule with magnesium stearate. So am I going to deny a friend a life change over, you know, avoiding a supplement with magnesium stearate? No way. Use your brains. Even the natural health experts and the videos that you see, myself included, think for yourself test what we're saying and make sure it makes sense to you and it's logical and it's based on facts. Have a great day. Go out and hike. Support your local independent health food store and your farmer's market because I'm headed to the farmer's market now. Have a great day.